And what's going on people, it's your boy Billy Mac back for another video. This video is a recipe video, that's right. We're going to be cooking some roasted red potatoes in the air fryer. This is not an oven method, this is an air fryer method. And yes, it does matter, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and pull out your favorite cutting board. I like to use a plastic um, cutting map. Put the paper towel down, a wet paper towel down so it doesn't um, move when I'm cutting. You're going to take three to five red potatoes, depending on the size, three large red potatoes, um, five, you know, small ones like the one I have. And you're going to take those. And the next thing you do after you pick out your potatoes, you're going to wash them. Wash your potatoes. You need to wash all your fruits and your vegetables. That's it's only sanitary. After you've thoroughly washed them, go ahead and um, peel them and cut them into quarters. And make sure when you're peeling your potatoes, get all that nasty gunk out right there. Get, try to get all of that. Remove all of that, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's unsightly. You don't want to serve that to your people. So as you can see, I sped it up because peeling potatoes, especially if you don't have a peeler, takes a long time. As you can also see, I leave some of the skin on because the skin, you know, gives it nice texture and it, make, it makes it look so nice, makes it look really nice. So after you've peeled and cut your potatoes into quarters, find you a bowl or a plate, whichever works for you. Put them on, put them in your bowl. And we're going to start to season them first. As I readjust my camera first, we're going to drizzle in some olive oil. Olive oil is very important because this the olive oil um, burns at a higher degree. So it's going to help crisp the potatoes and make them, you know, that nice burnt looking like the ones you get at the store. Um, I like to add a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic powder and paprika. I think that's a general, you know, seasoning mix for your potatoes. Um, as you're adding your seasoning, now this is completely optional, but I like to add a little bit of of baking powder. For those of you that don't know, baking powder works very well in crisping things up that you don't want fried, if you will. So after you get finished seasoning, we're going to move on and mix it all up. I mixed mine. This is I sped that up, but I think I mixed it for a good minute. So get your air fryer tray, place the potatoes on your air fryer tray. Um, do it, make it look nice, you know, put them on there evenly. Um, try to, if you know how your air fryer cooks, if you know it cooks faster in the back or, and less in the front, try to put the smaller ones in the front and the larger pieces in the back. So then we're going to take them to our air fryer and put them in the air fryer at 400 degrees or 10 minutes. Um, this will not only give a good crisp on the potatoes, but it'll pretty much cook them all the way through. Don't mind my grilled onions. I wanted I was I was cooking hot dogs and I wanted grilled onions. But I took them out after the 10 minutes, flipped them over, put them back in the air fryer on 375 for five minutes. This is more just to finish them. Make sure they're cooked all the way through and give them a nice color. As you can see, now one thing I didn't do, I didn't spray my tray because I assumed the olive oil that I put on it would have helped them not stick, but that did not work, as you can see. But we're going to make it look a little nicer. Just watch this. All right, and there is your finished product roasted red potatoes straight from the air fryer thank you all for watching it's your boy billy mac peace